Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Saturday, February 24th, 2024. Lance Brock here on this Saturday morning episode of GMWF. Welcoming everyone right after the WWE Elimination Chamber Premium Live event just wrapped up. Seconds ago, Rhea Ripley, not to spoil it early, but Rhea Ripley in the ring right now celebrating her victory, retaining the WWE World Women's Championship or Women's World Championship. I know I say that backwards sometimes, but... Rhea Ripley with a victory in the main event tonight in her home country of Australia. And it got cut close. I wasn't sure if this was going to wrap up before I had to leave or not. It was getting a little late, but luckily I was able to come on here and start good morning wrestling fans I got up at 4am to watch the kickoff I hope everyone else has been up also watching the elimination chamber whether you just started watching the main card at 5am this morning Well, if you're in the Eastern time zone, that is. Or if you also watched the kickoff show, as I did. Have to admit, though, I was a little surprised that lately the kickoffs have just been the panels talking talking about the matches and video packages, maybe some interviews, but... On this morning's kickoff show, we got a match featuring Australia's own Indy Harwell teaming with Candice LeRae, taking on the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Damage Control, Kyrie Thane, and EO Sky. And it was Damage Control retaining the women's tag team titles defeating Indy Harwell and Candice LeRae like I said as of late they haven't been having matches on the kickoffs but unless they maybe just wanted to get Indy Harwell on the show Since we are in her home country of Australia, that could be the case very well. But not a bad match. Usual kickoff match, like I said, damage control, winning to retain the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Then on to the main card of the Elimination Chamber and this morning's or night, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world, WWE Elimination Chamber was live from Perth, Australia. Our commentators, Michael Cole and Cole Graves, and really no surprise the lineup of the card we had things starting us off with the women's elimination chamber match and for some reason I have lost my notes I well 
This is what happens when you're doing a live podcast. But we start things off as I try to find my notes real quick. With the women's elimination chamber match. And just a second. As I try to find my notes. Yes, okay, got them. Thank you for your patience. The women's elimination chamber match for a shot at the world women's world championship match at WrestleMania 40 is first. We have Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Naomi, Raquel Rodriguez, and Tiffany Stratton. The order of the elimination. Naomi first, Tiffany Stratton, Raquel Rodriguez, Liv Morgan pinning Bianca Belair. And then right after that, Becky Lynch pins Liv Morgan after the manhandle slam to win this women's elimination chamber match at 32 minutes 15 seconds good opener for the show I thought was it one of the best elimination chamber matches I've seen no maybe not but I do think this was a pretty good match not surprised to see the man Becky Lynch win this one becoming the number one contender I know I already mentioned it at the top of the podcast but she will go on to Wrestlemania 40 and compete for the women's world championship but I'll get to who the women's world champion is in just a little bit as I recap the PLE. But pretty good women's elimination chamber match there. Next up, the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Championships are on the line. We have the Judgment Day, Finn Balor and Damian Priest with Dirty Dom, Dominic Mysterio in their corner, taking on the new Catch Republic, the team of the Bruiser Weight, Pete Dunn, and Tyler Bate. This one was actually quite an entertaining match. Went a little longer than I thought that it would. But that's not a bad thing, though. Like I said, it was actually a pretty good entertaining match. I enjoyed this one. Dirty Dom at ringside, of course, got involved. And then at one point was ejected from ringside. But it is the Judgment Day. Defeating Dunn and Bate to retain the WWE Tag Team titles. At 17 minutes, 25 seconds. Once again, pretty good tag team match here. Wasn't surprised to see the Judgment Day, Balor, and Priest retain the titles. Dunn and Bate, they just recently brought them, or brought Tyler Bate up to the main roster and brought Pete Dunn. Well, he was there, but they changed his name back to Pete Dunn, what I'm trying to say, from Butch when he was a part of the Brawling Brutes. So I didn't really see them putting the titles on them just yet. 
could they eventually sometime down the line put the titles on them? Possibly, definitely. But I didn't think it was going to happen just yet. I don't really see any reason just yet as of right now to take the titles off of the Judgment Day. So still your undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, the Judgment Day, Senior Money in the Bank, Damian Priest, and Finn Balor. Next up is the Men's Elimination Chamber match where the winner will get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 40. And we have Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, Kevin Owens, L.A. Knight, Logan Paul, and the Viper, Randy Orton. I just want to say real quick, though, at the top of the PLE, something that I thought was pretty funny when they showed the wrestlers walking into the arena, Kevin Owens holding a koala bear, of course, Australia, and it probably would have been a little difficult to carry a kangaroo in there, I'm sure, but on to the match, I thought this was a very entertaining match, I might have to just maybe barely side with the men's uh, elimination chamber of which one I liked better. This one I thought was very good. Logan Paul, great heel in this one. And we had the elimination of Bobby Lashley. Lashley exiting the chamber. And at this time, AJ Styles gets involved. The phenomenal one brings a chair in the ring, attacks L.A. Knight, hits him repeatedly repeatedly with the steel chair, and then hits the Styles Clash on the steel chair. After that attack, the referees get AJ Styles out of the chamber, and then Drew McIntyre pins L.A. Knight, eliminating him from the match. And Logan Paul, of course, since he doesn't have one of his buddies to come in and interfere and help him, he reaches in his trunks and pulls out the brass knuckles. Then just when when he is getting ready to use them, he is hit with an RKO out of nowhere by the Viper himself. And Logan Paul is eliminated. Down to Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre. But Logan Paul, before he leaves in the chamber, he gets the brass knuckles, lays Randy Orton out. Drew McIntyre pins Orton, winning the men's elimination chamber match. So, as of right now, we now know that it will be Drew McIntyre challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship against Seth, sorry, against Seth freaking Rollins at WrestleMania 40. But the question is, will it be night one? Will it be night two? I know there's been speculation of them having the tag match with Rhodes and Rollins taking on the Rock and Roman Reigns on night one. And then if that does happen, they could possibly have the title matches on night two, WrestleMania Sunday, which is a possibility that could happen. And another thing I... uh, But before I get to it, the time was 36 minutes, 55 seconds. Another thing I forgot to mention was the Grayson Waller effect with Cody Rhodes and the World Heavyweight Champion Seth freaking Rollins. 
Cody Rhodes saying he wants to fight The Rock in the main event of the Elimination Chamber PLE this morning, tonight, wherever you are in the world. The Women's World Championship on the line. The Women's World Champion Rhea Ripley defending in her home country of Australia against Nia Jax. No surprise at all. Rhea Ripley was over huge. She was pretty much a hero here at this show, which I expected. I knew going into this show, it being in Australia, that she was probably going to be the top baby face on the show, and she was. But they did let Nia Jax look good in this match, have the power advantage, and even Samoan drop Rhea Ripley onto the announce table. And then dropping the elbow on her, breaking the desk. So they did give some, a couple spots to Nia Jax and make it look like she could actually win the title. (laughs) Excuse me. But in the end, it is Rhea Ripley. Defeating Nia Jax to successfully defend the Women's World Championship. 14 minutes, 35 seconds in her home country of Australia. And that is actually when I started the podcast this morning. Just when it was finishing up because it was getting a little late. I have to go to work, so I wanted to start the podcast as soon as I can, and luckily I just finished up when I did because I just got here to work. So overall, the Elimination Chamber, I thought it was a pretty good show. I'll give it 8.5 out of 10 ring bells, maybe close to 9. I thought it was a pretty entertaining show. Yeah, I'll stick with eight and a half. I don't know if I'll quite go up to nine or not. And when I get home from work today, I will have to watch New Japan Pro Wrestling, the new beginning in Sapporo Night 2 was held this morning. I have not watched it yet. I chose to watch the Elimination Chamber live. But like I said, I will watch that as soon as I get home. And whether you watched the Elimination Chamber this morning or you watched The New Beginning in Sapporo, I hope I didn't spoil anything for you if if you're listening and you watched New Japan live. And was saving the Elimination Chamber for later. Hope you enjoyed whichever show you watched. Whether it was New Japan or the Elimination Chamber POE. And I will definitely hope to have a new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic tonight. Talking about New Japan and... Tonight's AEW Saturday Collision. Because you gotta remember it's Saturday. Saturday night's alright for fighting. Follow on X. That's the best way to keep up. Because as soon as there's a podcast posted on Spreaker, it gets posted right to X. And also follow 360 Wrestling Podcast now on Threads. I know I'm rushing because, I, like I said, I'm here at work. I've been walking around. Gotta go in there. Gotta wrap up. Hope everyone has a great day. Hope everyone enjoys Collision tonight. And until I talk to you again, have a great pro wrestling day.